I thought for sure that I was not going to go see Eclipse tonight just because it's ridiculously sold out and I really don't want to be in the midst of that mayhem. Uh, I'm kind of interested to see the movie just because of the the fight scene at the end because, you know, I read the book and I, the whole time during that whole last third of the book, I was like, this will make a good part of a movie. Uh... And what, what do you think? He's not talking to me right now. I mean, he, he asked me if I preferred episode one or the new Star Trek. going to be what I had originally intended to do. I'm going to shoot it tomorrow. It'll be posted tomorrow. I already have the whole thing written out. I'm not going to say anything because I'm going to explain everything in tomorrow's video. One of the main reasons that I did not shoot anything earlier is because I have a huge self-confidence issue. And today was one of those days where it just kind of crept up on me and just kind of, I had that little voice right here saying, no matter what you do, it's not going to be good enough. Nobody wants to see these. Why do you keep making them? And I know, I know that, you know, it's, it's not true, but uh, there's a part of me that just constantly believes that, and I, I don't know where it came from, but I've had it for most of my life. Um, and it's something that I kind of struggle with on a, almost a daily basis. Normally I can overcome it pretty easily, but then there are days like today where it just kind of just piles on and I'm just <sighs> and this is why I haven't tried a lot of the things that I want to try I get severe stage fright I'm talking when I get up there I start sweating I start mumbling and my legs turn to jello I'd kind of forgotten how bad this was did karaoke two nights on the cruise ship and that's when I realized exactly how bad it was you know the first night I went and just watched the karaoke I didn't actually sign up I didn't sing anything because I couldn't get the nerve to actually go up and sign up for a song. Second night, I was determined to sing. So I went up and did another performance of Soul Man. As I got on stage, I could feel my legs. I was literally shaking. There was some part of me as I was standing there that just did this. And a voice in my head that was doing this. They're all staring at you. Fortunately, I fought that urge. I stayed up there, I did the song, there was a whole crew off to this side that was loving every minute of my performance, so apparently I did pretty good. I I'm still not overly convinced that I'm that good, but it's karaoke, so you don't really have to be. But afterwards, uh, the karaoke host, who was also pr putting together a show in which the passengers of the ship uh, were actually the performers as well. When I was finished with my song, he reminded me on the microphone so that everybody heard it that they were having the, the legend show at the end of the cruise and they were doing sign-ups and they were going to have the competition coming up. There is no way I would have done that. In that very, very small lounge, I was barely holding it together. Do you really think that I could have managed standing in front of essentially the entire ship? No, 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 no. And again, I know it's fairly ridiculous, but it just... It gets to me sometimes, and I just have to kind of sit quietly and just let it blow over. Just let everything kind of wash away, and then I can, you know, go out and do stuff. I can tell you this, however. VidCon, there's bound to be some karaoke, and dancing, and other moments of public humiliation. And I'm not going to miss a single bit of it. I hope you're all well. I'll see you tomorrow.